Hello yogis, welcome to class. We are going to strengthen and lengthen our whole body, but in particular our hamstrings. So we're going to feel them activating a lot, engaging, and then we're going to release them and stretch them. So taking them into both ranges of motions, activation and release, it's gonna feel really good. You're gonna feel strong and loose and just all around amazing. Okay, so let's start on our backs. We're going to um, start right away with our legs up towards the sky. So this might be a stretch enough for you, so just move nice and slowly into it. And then what we're gonna do is grab onto the right side. So grab onto the right leg, and then you're going to slowly let the left leg lower all the way down towards the floor. And you're going to press the left heel into the floor. So what we're doing here is we're actually creating space in the hip capsule, in the right hip capsule, in the way that we're pressing down into the floor because this is going to help the hips shift into place. Good. And then here, you can just hold onto the leg here. If you want to pull the leg back a little bit, you can. Gently, gently moving the leg and continue to press the left leg down. Good. And again, nice big inhale in. Keep pressing the left leg down. And then release, bring the left leg up all the way up to the top. Good, so what we're doing is we're actually kind of tricking the mind right now because we're starting with the leg where we want it to actually be. And then we're going backwards from there as opposed to trying to take the leg here and then pushing it into there. We're actually just starting there and reversing it. So it's a little trick that we're doing to help the nervous system be okay with where the leg is at with the leg stretching out. So press the right heel into the ground again to help activate the hamstring and also to um, put the hips where they need to be. Good, so keep holding onto the thigh and then draw that hip down. Good, keep pressing the heel down. I know probably we'll forget, but keep pressing that right heel down. Take a nice big deep breath in. And go ahead and bring the other leg up to meet it. Good. And then we're going to rock ourselves all the way forward and try to come all the way forward without using your hands all the way down into a nice forward fold. So you can um, have the knees as bent as you need to. Okay, so don't feel like you have to push them into any position. So you can have them as bent as you need to. Grab opposite elbows right here and hold. Breathing in and out through the nose. Breathe and place the hands down. And we're gonna step ourselves all the way back into a downward facing dog. So thinking about the legs, especially here in this position. So you wanna have the heels reaching down towards the floor, but it's not as important as strengthening or um, lengthening the spine. Okay, so you don't wanna push the heels down and compensate here like this. You definitely want to um, reach through the spine, keep the spine nice and straight and long, and then you might need to bend the knees a little bit, and that's okay, that's totally okay. All right, so holding it here, we're just gonna bend the right knee, keep the left leg straight. And switch over to the other side. And straighten out both the legs. Good, now all you're going to do is lift the right leg up off of the floor and lower it down. So you're just going to lift it off just a teeny tiny bit, just like a couple inches. Lower down, lift it up. So we're just alternating legs, like we're marching in place. But I'm not lifting the leg up, right? I'm actually just kind of sucking the thigh bone up into the hip socket, lowering it down, lift it up, lower down, lift it up and lower down. 
Good, now you're going to take that right leg and you're just going to lift it into a three-legged dog. Now, notice where the hips are. A lot of people just immediately go into this hip opener. Don't go there right now. Keep the hips really square. Feel like the heel is stomping behind you. So it's a really long, strong line that's pushing out through the right heel. Good, and then the left leg is really nice and straight and long. Beautiful, and then we're going to go ahead and step it all the way through into a high lunge right here. So holding it here, squaring off the hips. So you can take your thumb and actually draw the hip back. Hold it here for just a moment. Good, feel the long line happening and we're going to press all the way forward and up, come into a crescent pose. Beautiful. Holding it here. And then fold over the front thigh. Hold it here again. Stay hovering above the thigh bone. So we're activating that hamstring here. Reach the arms back behind you. Hold, hold, hold. Breathe. Reach out through the crown of the head. And then we're going to fly up. Bring the feet together. Stand all the way up. Inhale and exhale, fold forward down towards the floor. Good, place the hands down. You're going to step the left foot back behind you and then back into a low lunge and just stay right here. Breathe into this nice deep stretch, lifting up through the crown of the head. Just noticing how your body feels today. It's gonna feel different every single day, just depending on how much you slept, what's going on with work, everything like that. So just allow your body to express itself in whichever way it needs to, and really begin to just slow down and listen to your body. Your body's always trying to talk to you, and usually we're just too busy to even listen. So just make sure that you're listening all the time. Okay, we're going to shift the hips back now. And right here, we're going to lengthen out through the spine. If you feel really, really tight, I encourage you to grab some blocks and put them here like this. So you're gonna press the heel into the ground as you lengthen up through the crown of the head. So we're trying to get a nice straight long back here like this. So you're actually feeling this tilt happening in the hips. Beautiful. Take a nice big deep breath in. We're gonna hold here for a little bit, thinking about how long you can get the crown of the head up, how much you can get the tailbone tilting up back behind you so that we can really effectively stretch the hamstrings. Good, and then we're going to press it back into our low lunge. One more time, inhale in, and then we're gonna rock it back into the half splits. Again, rock it forward. And rock it back. Creating this flow between the two poses to allow yourself to really move through different ranges of motion as you stretch. So when you do this, you also have to activate a lot of stabilizers. So this is going to really help to open up the body in an active way. And reach it back. And lunge it forward, good, tuck the toes up behind you. And then we're going to press it all the way back into a nice little pyramid pose here. So you can scooch the foot back a little bit, just like I did, so that you can find a nice little comfortable position for yourself. And then allow yourself to be heavy here. Release the head down. Breathe through. Make sure that you're still drawing the thigh bone up and you're not locking in the front knee. You're always still activating the front thigh bone a little bit. Feel rooted in the front big toe. Make sure you're not kind of like letting the foot open, really press down through the toes. So have that solid foundation underneath yourself. Good, and then now we're going to step it all the way forward. You can kind of feel out your legs here. We're gonna bend the left leg, place the left hand on the ground, reach the left right arm up, holding here. Feel how that's opening the whole right side of the leg. And if looking up isn't in, in, in the cards for you tonight, that's okay. You can just go ahead and look down. Otherwise, you could try to look all the way up towards your top finger. Good, place the hand down. Let's just switch to the other side. 
So place the right hand down, bend the right knee, reach up nice and long. Reach up towards the fingertips. Beautiful, release down. And you're gonna step the left foot back, step the right foot back. Go ahead and shift forward into Chaturanga and then to Upward Facing Dog and then Downward Facing Dog. Good, let's move right into our other leg. So we're going to lift the left leg up. Remember, we're starting in this nice squared off three-legged dog, keeping the hips really square. So that's going to um, intensify the stretch that's happening on the right leg, but it's also gonna help you really understand where square hips are when you're up in space. So working on your proprioception, especially for somebody who's working on inversions. So this will be really helpful for that. Good, so step the foot forward, and then we're gonna lower down into a low lunge. Oh no, we did high lunge first. So let's start with our high lunge here. Beautiful, lift up through the crown of the head, and then we're gonna rise all the way up into our crescent pose here, just like this. Stay nice and tall through the spine. One more big deep breath in, and then exhale. Fold it over the thigh. Make sure that you're not touching the thigh. Hold it here. And really, really activate that standing leg. We're going to stand all the way up into a warrior three. Reach the hands back behind you. Pull the abs in. Feel the crown of the head reach long. Feel the toes reach back long. Nice big inhale in. And then step the feet together. Go ahead and forward fold all the way down. And then step the right foot back into our low lunge. Good. So now we're in our low lunge position and allow yourself to sink down. Lift the crown of the head up. Draw the shoulders down and back. And then we're going to stretch it all the way back into our half splits pose here. So remember again, you can take blocks here if you need it, because what's more important is to think about straightening the spine, elongating the spine. This is going to help the hamstrings. So we don't want to stay up like this, because that means we're not actually stretching the hamstrings. All right, so you want to think about tilting the pelvis back and lengthening out through the spine. This is also gonna help protect your low back as well. So really feel this long line happening here and you can even press down into the heel a bit here. Not only help your balance in this pose, but to help activate it and open it up from an active range of motion. So we'll stay here for a few more breaths. And then we're gonna rock forward and back. So rock forward and rock back and forward and back. Forward and back. Letting the breath just move along with the body. No particular pattern here, but just keep the breath moving at a similar pace as the body. Nice, and then step it forward and then bring the back leg up just a few inches or the front leg back a few inches either way. And then go ahead and find your pyramid pose as we release down into the front leg. So again, you can also use blocks here if you need a little bit more space, if you're just a little bit tighter. And you're still drawing this front hip back in the pyramid pose. So you don't wanna totally open up here like this. You wanna actually draw the hip back, allow the head to be easy down towards the floor. Notice where you can maybe soften and release. And I know sometimes tightness can feel 
awkward or restricting and uncomfortable. So allow your breath to let that type of feeling dissipate out of the body. Just remind yourself that you're okay and everything's gonna be okay. So step it towards the front of the mat. Take a nice big inhale in, exhale, lower down, and rise all the way up towards the top of the mat. Bring the hands to the heart center. Beautiful. So right from here, we're going to take the right leg and we're going to extend it back into a, um, into our lifting up. So just like what we did in downward facing dog where we were picking the foot up like this, we're gonna do the same thing here, but this time, well, let's actually start here like this and then we'll go into the next uh, variation. So start here, hands are just gonna be at your side and you're just going to lift the foot up kind of awkwardly, feeling like you're like suctioning up the thigh bone up in towards the hip socket. So you're just lifting up and lifting up. And then I want you to take your left leg and we'll just lift it up, hold it here. And what you're going to do is you're going to fold forward, keeping the foot exactly where it is, exactly where it is, meaning it doesn't shift back, right? It stays right there. And then you're going to rise back up. Okay, we're gonna do that three times. This is going to really, really strengthen the hamstrings and all the stabilizer muscles. This is going to pull up into the hip socket and believe it or not, actually create more space in the hip socket for yourself. All right, so lift up that leg and we're going to fold it forward for three and up and two and up and one. Hold it here. So nice, long, flat back. Arms are reaching back behind you. Spine is turned on, and we're just going to lift the leg up behind us now. So now you found warrior three. Warrior three should actually now feel much easier. And if you notice, this is the same exact position that we had when we started class on our backs. If you're someone who's working on handstands, this is definitely another pose to work on because this is the exact same pose that you do when you kick up into handstand like that. Good, take a nice big inhale in. Keep holding, even if you fall. Keep holding, keep holding. Keep the hip drawing down because it might want to open up here, but keep the hip drawing down. Good. Hold it for three. Hold it for two. And one. Now we're going to just swing the leg all the way forward and up, keeping the leg straight. So now we're just reversing what we just did. Reach the arms up. Ahead, overhead. Now lift the leg up a little bit higher. Now we're in the same position we did on our backs, but now we're just standing. That leg should definitely be on fire for sure. Keep holding for three, Woo. for two, and one. Right from here, try not to put it down. We're going to take it, cross it around into our eagle pose. So you might just get one wrap here, or you might be able to get two wraps. All right, now you're going to take the left arm underneath the right, hold it here, press the palms together, pull the belly in, try to sink the hips down and back. Keep the spine lifting, feel like you're radiating up. Remember the eagle pose is the most majestic of all birds. So you want to embody that type of feeling here, very regal, very tall. Even though you're all constricted everywhere, Feel the length happening through the spine. Beautiful. So a lot of contraction happening. Stay with the breath to stay steady and calm and grounded. Nice big inhale in. And lift the knee up towards the chest. Try not to let go of the arms. Keep the arms right here as you take the leg back into warrior three. Try not to put that foot down. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Keep the arms here in warrior three. Hold, hold, hold. Reach the leg, reach the arms. Reach, 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 reach. Beautiful, and then let go of the arms gracefully as you can. Bring the hands down towards the floor and then come into your standing splits. So you can stay here with a square leg or square hips, or if you wanna go a little bit further, you can try going all the way into a standing splits. Whatever is comfortable for you, keeping the hips square or opening the hips, whatever you wanna do right now for your body. 
Nice. And then go ahead and step it back. <sighs> Take a nice little chaturanga to upward facing dog. And back to downward facing dog. Nice. All right, let's walk it all the way up to the top of the mat. Reach the crown of the head forward and lower down. Nice job. Swoop the arms all the way up. All right, so we've got the right side to go. And let's lift the right leg up and we're going to fold forward. Remember, right here. So you're going to activate this leg so much and lift it up. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice. This, when I first learned this, it was pretty tricky for myself. So just notice what happens to your body, what happens to your hips. If you're wobbling a lot, obviously that means that you need to work on your stability. If you're feeling really tight anywhere, just take notice of what's happening to your body. And there probably will be some imbalances between left side and right side, and that's totally normal. So go ahead and fold forward, hold it here, and then just gently and easily float the leg back behind you. Good, for warrior three. So you can keep the hands flying back here like this, or you can challenge yourself a bit more and bring the arms up overhead. If you're someone working on handstands, I definitely recommend bringing the arms up overhead so you can feel what it feels like to have this long line happening, right? And it's going to activate the back, activate all these muscles. It's pretty intense, but you can do it. Keep shifting the hip down instead of opening up. Keep the hip shifting down, pull the belly in. Reach, reach, reach. Beautiful. And then just swing the arm of the legs all the way up. Keep the arms up overhead. Hold here. So just like we've been doing, stomping through the heel. So we're just reversing exactly what we did in Warrior Three, but now we're here in this standing pose. Just like this. Hold here. I know you might be burning, but the burn is good. It's only temporary. Just try to embrace whatever it is that you're feeling, because it's only gonna last just a little bit. Now we're gonna bend it in, if you can, for that double wrap. Good, bring the right arm underneath, press the hands together. Remember that majestic feeling, sit the hips back, lift the heart up, elongate the spine. Beautiful. Whoa. Good, if you find some Wobbliness, that's okay, it's all part of it. Pull the navel in, draw the shoulders down. See where you can sink down more. See if you can squeeze the inner thighs together more. Even though it feels like they're already doing it, see if you can squeeze more to actually create more space in the hips. Pull the navel in, lift the elbows up off of the chest. Keep the back tall and proud. Reach the heart up. And then carefully let go of the wrap. Keep the arms wrapped though. Pull the knee up and then reach back to three-legged dog Hold, or three, warrior three. Holding here, keep the elbows off of the chest. Push the heel into the back wall behind you. Lift, lift, lift. See where you can get longer. Three, two, one, and let go. Ooh, oh my goodness. Okay, so take your Standing splits here, so you can either keep the legs or hips square, or you can take yourself all the way into a split, standing split, whichever you wanna do today. Totally up to you. Just feel your body out, stretch it out. Nice job. All right, come into a high plank pose for our last and final vinyasa right here. And come all the way up to upper facing dog and back, nice. Go ahead and walk the feet forward. And we're gonna cool down a bit. Pull the knees in towards your chest. Lay it all the way back. And just pull the knees in here. Just notice how you feel. It's a pretty intense class. It takes a lot of focus, which takes a lot of energy. So allow everything to slow down, integrate, and breathe. You can stay right here if you want to join me for happy baby. This is always a really nice one to do after a really intense hamstring class. Just hold on to the feet. 
Let the legs just fall flat onto the ground. Take one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. And you can stay here as long as you'd like. Allow the body to really, really rejuvenate, integrate. And rest. And then roll on up when you are ready. Bring the hands to the heart center. Bow the head down towards your heart. Showing appreciation for your beautiful body. Really connecting to the magnificence and magic of your incredible body that you get to live in every single day. Namaste. Thank you for joining me today. Great job. You did amazing, amazing work. If you're still feeling a little tired and fatigued, definitely just go ahead and lay back down and take a longer Shavasana for yourself. All right, thanks so much for being here and I will see you next time. Bye.